Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Back home in the backyard, loving it. So, this was a topic request, and uh, it's this. What does safety feel like to me? All right, and I'll see if I can do this topic justice, but um, talk all the time that you know if perceived danger is the problem safety is the solution so what does that feel like we'll get to that in a minute I enjoy the bird song out here nice breathe a little bit this feels like safety sitting in the yard beautiful day fresh air birds singing just breathing relaxing that feels like safety so let's go a little deeper than that all right so I talk a lot about teaching the brain that we're actually safe and as we look at the framework of how the system works and how recovery typically goes you know, I say we got to train the brain or teach the brain or show the brain that we're actually okay. All right? There's a number of tactics that I talk about. We want to teach the brain that emotions are safe, that we're safe in our physical body. That starts with clarity that I'm not broken. It's just perceived danger and TMS that's causing the symptoms. We want to teach the brain that even our thoughts are not dangerous. We don't require symptoms as a result of our thinking, our emotions, or our physical body because we've done the analysis and we know what causes symptoms and we know that the um, perceived danger applies to us, right? So we're trying to teach the brain that we're safe by feeling our emotions, by relaxing our body, breathing, by not taking our thoughts so seriously, and most importantly, by how do we respond to symptoms when they catch our attention. If we are responding to symptoms with fear, freak out, frustration, anger, despair, hopelessness, we're confirming the brain's perception that we're in danger. Okay? I also suggest that we start to resume normal activities, right? Doing normal stuff, living life. Sorry, maybe a little tree pollen in the air. Just a tickle. I don't have allergies, but sometimes something will get in your nose and tickle. So, living our life shows the brain that, hey, I'm not concerned with this crap anymore. I'm doing normal, normal things, right? So those are oftentimes the strategies we employ. But to the topic of this video, what does safety actually feel like once you get it right? Well, for me, I can speak personally. Safety for me feels like I have no concern about TMS anymore. I have no concern of my brain creating symptoms due to perceived danger. I don't. None. I trust that I We'll see it for what it is. I'll call it out for exactly what it is. And I also trust that I'll know what to do about it if that should happen. I've got some practice with this. Over the past 13, 14 years or so, I've had about five or six episodes where my old classic back pain and sciatica came back. But I knew what it was, and I knew how to handle it called it out exactly for what it was. I was like, ah, what's going on in my life? My brain must be perceiving some danger. TMS, emotion, stress, something's going on. Sometimes it was obvious, like when my mom had a stroke, it was very clear that the emotional turmoil and the stress of having to spend 30, 40 hours a week with her on top of running my business was very stressful and started to create a little bit of back pain. My brain was perceiving danger, turned on some back pain and sciatic as a result. 
So that was obvious. In other cases, it wasn't so clear. Maybe a little bit of relationship stress, because I've had some ups and downs over the past 12 years since I got divorced. Um, but figuring out the cause was less important than actually just knowing that nothing bad is happening. I don't have a reason to hurt. So what did I do? I said, I know what this is. It's TMS, perceived danger pain. Not concerned about it whatsoever because I know with certainty it's very temporary. This will pass. So there's no reason for me to be afraid of it. I gave it little to no concern. I would notice it. Can't ignore it completely. If you're uncomfortable, you will notice it. But I responded with kind of a chuckle and going, well, I know what it is. It'll pass. And inevitably, in all of these five or six times over the past 14 years that I've had this episode of back pain, it never, never became chronic. Meaning, never longer than six to eight weeks. In every single case, it was gone in a week. Maybe 10 days at the most in one particularly uh, troublesome time of my life. So what does safety look like to me? Not being afraid of my brain, not being afraid of stress, not being afraid of fear, not being afraid of sensations in my body because I know they will pass. It was weird, last night I'm laying in bed, all of a sudden I get a sharp pain in my foot. Like, what the heck? I don't know where that came from. I laughed. Why? Because I'm not afraid of my body. I trust that my body knows what to do. I trust that my body is reasonably healthy. I'm not afraid of it. So sometimes we'll get a zap here or there. Okay. That doesn't mean you're failing. It doesn't mean that TMS still is running rampant. None of that. All it means is once in a while the brain will fire off a, a pain signal. If you know that you didn't do anything, heck, I, the foot zap I got was I was laying in bed. What's interesting is in the group call I was having a conversation with somebody about foot pain. So who knows, maybe my subconscious brain latched onto that, felt a little sensation in my foot and went, ooh, zap, a little bit of fear, a little perceived danger. And I laughed at it, I didn't give it a second thought, and it was gone in seconds. So what does safety feel like to me? It's a deep knowing. It's an understanding that whether symptoms are there or not, I'm actually okay. And I see that with many of my coaching clients. The people who are getting better are the ones that get to that place of little to no concern. And some of these folks are having more and more episodes of pain-free time. But here's the deal. If symptoms return, they know what it is. They know what to do about it. They're feeling safer because they have this clarity that allows them to be kind of unshakable. Right now, I am unshakable from TMS. Absolutely unshakable. Not only do I teach it, but I've lived it. All right? 14 years pain-free. That's a cure. Right? Except for these handful of incidences, I have no chronic persistent symptoms at all. Pain is gone. Not mostly better, but it is gone. And many of you can't even imagine that. But what I will share with you is that it is wonderful. It is not just possible, but it's your natural state. TMS, chronic pain, is not your natural state. It means that the warning signal has been turned on and we haven't yet figured out how to shut it off. It's a false alarm, right? So, when I say I feel safe, it doesn't mean I feel safe from ever having a physical sensation again. I know that that's possible, probable, but I feel safe because I'll, I'll be able to recognize it instantly. And I won't dive into the swimming pool of fear and thrash around for days, weeks, months, years. I'm not going to fall 
for the charade, if you will. And I, that almost gives a negative connotation that the brain is playing tricks. It's really not. The brain is just hyperactive, hypersensitive. Our anxieties, our fears throughout our lives just has us always looking out for danger. And when we're in that high alert, highly vigilant state, the brain oftentimes misinterprets normal signals for dangerous sing signals and turns on pain or other symptoms. That's all that's going on, folks. So, yeah, I'm pretty unshakable as it relates to me, and I have no concern about coming down with TMS again. None. Right? And that's where you're going to get to. Because when you truly understand what causes symptoms, perceived danger, and that it applies to you, there's a cure, this is all temporary, and that you're actually capable of doing it. That's why I do these videos every day, because people are getting better by watching and implementing, most important phrase, implementing these concepts. Teaching their own brains, consciously, subconsciously, that I'm okay. We do that through consistent messages of safety, not just walking around saying, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe, but thinking, acting, behaving as if we're okay, because we are. So if you're running around scaring yourself silly by ruminating on something you heard in one of those bad neighborhoods called a chronic pain group or a chronic dizziness group or somewhere, and you're ruminating on that and saying, oh, this person told me this, that you know, there's no cure. Okay, well, are they an established authority? Or are they just a terrified person? Don't take advice from terrified people. Do not take advice from terrified people. Do not take advice from people who know nothing about the role of the brain in your symptoms and in your condition. That includes doctors. Look, Doctors are great for ruling out life-threatening stuff. Infections, cancers, tumors, heart attacks, strokes, that kind of stuff. Once you've done that, rule in TMS. The vast majority of you, if not 99.9% .9 of you, are dealing with brain-created symptoms based on high anxiety high levels of fear, high levels of perceived danger. That's what's going on. Now, I heard Alan Gordon speak uh, in his book about the Boulder Back Pain Study, and they had about, I think, 50 people that they were going to bring through the study. And initially, they were trying to estimate, well, how many of these people are going to have a structural problem versus, you know, mind-body perceived danger, or as he calls it, neuroplastic pain, brain-created pain. And they were estimating maybe 10, 15% of the people would be excluded from the study because they had a true s structural issue. Well, guess what they found? As they did the intakes, they interviewed people, they identified the characteristics of the study participants' pains and symptoms. 100% of the people had neuroplastic pain, brain-created pain. Not one of them's symptoms were behaving consistently enough to be a structural problem. And this was the Boulder back pain study. So they were honed in on that particular body part. But this applies to everywhere. This applies to every symptom. Doesn't matter if you're dizzy, got reflux, got um, migraines, got facial pain, tooth pain, hip pain, knee pain, right? Doesn't matter. The vast majority of chronic pain is a mistake. It's a misunderstanding by the brain. And so what does safety feel like to me? Well, first of all, I'll say it feels damn good. Because it's one huge aspect of my life that consumed about 13 years of it. Overshadowed those 13 years was possibly even one of the uh, downfalls to my marriage. Because it was just, uh, it was a nagging thing that kept me in a, in a weird state. And I'm sure it was taxing on, on my wife at the time. Um, so what does safety feel like? It feels damn good. And it's available to you. It's available to you with a decision to say, I know what causes it. This absolutely applies to me and I am capable of implementing this stuff. 
So if I have symptoms, I don't have to show concern. Yeah, we don't like it. They're challenging. You know, when something hurts, we feel it. We go, ouch, holy crap. But we don't have to be concerned because we know what it is. And we know there's a way out and we know we're capable of implementing it. So we also know this is temporary. So what the heck am I freaking out about? I know it sounds like I'm oversimplifying this, folks, but the people who get what I just said are the ones that are getting better sooner than later. The people who struggle the most are the ones who say, but I'm so afraid. How do I get rid of the fear? I can't get rid of the fear. Okay, take a breather. Take a step back. What's going on? Does it apply to you? Yes. Is there a cure? Yes. Can you implement this stuff? Yes. You're a human being just like everybody else. The people who got better before you are not some special kind of wonderful. They're just like you. And inevitably, for the people who show up into group coaching and are in a particularly chaotic state, I'll ask the group. Say, all right, anybody here ever feel like this person is feeling right now? Inevitably, all the hands in the room go up. You see a whole room full of faces waving. Yep, I was just like that initially. So... You're not alone. There is a way out. These videos are the way out. If you'd like some more direct help, hey, I do about 12 hours a week of coaching time. That's 12 hours a week that you can show up, listen to other people share their successes and how they got there, ask me questions, have one-on-one -on -one conversations with me. 12 hours a week, that's 48 hours a month for 100 bucks ridiculous how low priced it is it's like two dollars an hour ridiculous try to get a therapist for that and they don't even know what's going on and what's causing your symptoms so if you're if you're looking like you need some help join the program if even just for a month painfreeu.com forward slash join give it a shot you got nothing to lose besides your symptoms and at that price, if you show up and consume the video course that's included, you're going to get your value times 10. So, what does safety feel like to me? Damn good. And it's available to you. So, I'm going to wrap this up. My phone's blowing up a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys and gals tomorrow. Love you all. And uh, catch you later. See ya.